Hey, Pokemon family, as you can see, we're doing something a little bit new today. Um, we've gotten quite a few comments and uh, from you guys and suggestions that you might like to see some of the, the stuff we've collected over the time, whether it be on the channel, off the channel, and things along those lines. So we put some things together. It's not our complete collection of cards or anything, but we're going to be able to show you just some of the collections that we have and some of the things we were able to put together from all the pack openings and pack battles that we've had. Also, super excited to share with you a bunch of other things that we'll keep going through the channel. But the big thing is, uh, got a bunch of vintage packs to go through with you and show you kind of part of our collection. Got a bunch of new stuff in. You'll see some stuff that we got from our mystery boxes before. And then you'll see a ton of uh, new super rare vintage stuff too that we've purchased uh, throughout. But uh, for right now, what we're going to do is go through some of the binders that we have. And as you can see right in front of you, this is going to be the first binder that we're going to go through. Um, it's got uh, two sets in here. Now the first one is complete and the second one, so that's going to be um, <clears throat> our jungle set that we had that we didn't open on the channel, but it's something that we've had. And then we also had an unbroken bond, bonds uh, set that we have. Not complete with all like the secret rares or anything, but it's complete set um, going through minus some of the secret rare, rares and stuff that we have in there. So super excited to show you that. And then we're going to get into some of the hidden fates since we've had so many Hidden Fates uh, uh, videos. As you all know, with Hidden Fates, we're still looking for that elusive shiny Charizard. But for now, uh, you'll get to see the set that we've made out of all the packs that you've seen us open. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. My beautiful wife, she's going to help with this. Um, as you can see, you can't see our faces right now because there's just no good way to show the binders without uh, them being set up in a way that would be easy for you to see the whole thing. And we didn't want to put a square with our wonderful faces on it uh, where you couldn't see some of the cards from the binder. So she's going to open this up and we'll get started right away with our jungle set that we have. And as you can see right here, um, this will get you started. Now you'll see on some of them, um, as we go through that there's going to be different ones like we got some first editions in here um, all the holographics were wonderful love the old sets um, sorry for the glare there's just no good way to get the lighting the wear that it is it's gonna um, probably be a little bit better as we go along but we'll go ahead and <clears throat> flip that page there to show you the next set um, again you can't get any better from the older cards from Wizards of the Coast. And again, um, we are super excited because a lot of the jungles, we got some good first editions on here, as you can see, um, as well as, uh, like I said, a, a bunch of different extras too. Anya loves the Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon. We got all of those in there. And then uh, we'll keep going. We had that Wigglytuff. And then, again, we, we got a lot of extras, like I said, but this is a full... Uh, jungle set and we got them again a lot of good first editions there as we're going through um <clears throat> there's some more of them there there's not a whole lot about i can say about this besides the fact that we're super excited to have this and put it together um there's our wonderful eevee that anya loves and a little jigglypuff looks so different than the jigglypuff that you see nowadays can't forget about pikachu there and then lastly we got the Pokeball up there and then it goes straight into our unbroken bond set as you can see and it just again these go and they're they're all the reverse hollows we kind of do the same thing as breaking nate does when it comes to collecting um when we put them in if you see the reverse hollow nine times out of ten we have the regular as well um but so we have the reverse hollows here um with this set and as you can see we even get the wonderful tag team full arts and stuff along those lines um but this is, in fact, it goes all the way to the end, and then it doesn't have, like, all the secret rares and things along those lines with it. But, yep, here's the awesome card that I love. And then Anya, obviously, she loves the Littons um, and the Tora Cats. And then Anya's favorite right here. These are my two favorite rows. Do, 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 do. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and keep moving along with it. And now you'll see... Um, Look at all those water type Pokemon. And one of my favorites is Frogadier down here. Well, but you can't go wrong with Poliwhirl and Poliwrath either. Um, and we'll, well just keep... my favorite is that one. What one? That one. Oh, Kyrum, yeah. 
and then here's Pikachu and Raichu. Um, and then we got a little Dedenne here. Got a lot of cool to start getting into the, like the Alolan side and everything along those lines. And then um, always loved Haunter and Gasoline. Crobat's a really cool Pokemon too. Okay. And then again, one of my favorites. I know in the new, in the very beginning, the first base set card, you always got Machamp and stuff. But I think over the years, he's one of the coolest looking Pokemon. Um, so it was very cool that we got that one with the tag team. And then you got Mew and Mewtwo here, which is always awesome to have. Yep. Now, <clears throat> with this side right here, I'll tell you what, I used I mean, I loved the Rhydon when I was a kid because I thought he looked so awesome and tough and almost unbeatable when you see him. But I really do like Rhyferior. I think they did an awesome job making him even look even better as a second one. I do wish as a kid we had that evolution um, too so that I could have collected that. But it, I, I do think it's cool that they did come out with it. And then we have another awesome tag team down here. All right, getting into some of the dark type Pokemon, if you, as you can see, very cool. Um, what's that? And steel. Yep, and steel over on the other side. Good eye, good eye. Yeah, there's some fairy type, and then Anya loves this one right here. And this um, one. And this one over here. Uh, yep. So that's a little bit, and then obviously can't go long, wrong with Lucario. Um, and then we can go ahead and keep on type? moving. All right. Here's some more. Uh, yep, we got some colorless in there. We got Persian. Um, and we got little Snorlax over here. I think that's a cute little art. And I love the Pikachus in the background. And then uh, Lickitung, which I never quite understood. Lickitung, you don't see him a whole lot in the show or anything along those lines. But you do in the movie, which is quite funny. All right. Then it goes into the trainers. We got another full art over yeah, here. Um, and then you'll you'll also notice some of the extras like from the Hidden Fates and stuff. It's just because the way Hidden Fates was made, it was made as like a reprint of these Sun and Moon cards. So most of the ones that you see, uh, they're all reprints of all of those other sets. And then what they did is just added shiny Pokemon to it. So it's pretty cool because it... it probably helped them save a bunch of money but they added a little bit too a little bit of spice and that's why everyone loves hidden fates because the shinies and then obviously the shiny charizard and then lastly we got these down here so that completed the the jungle and the unbroken bonds that we have um which we were really excited about now we're going to get our hidden fates out here for you i'm going to turn the camera off real quick actually maybe we can get it to set up to where i can just move this out of the way for you and then i'll have uh, this one go in here and maybe it'll all fit just nicely in here for you so as you can see um we got the hidden fates um this is our first binder that we have and it goes all the way from now we do have a bunch of shinies as you saw as we were pulling them out we obviously don't have a complete set we're still missing a bunch of shinies especially like shiny charizard and other ones but we do have a ton of them and we have the complete set from like the base set of it from like one to like it's like one to 68 one to 69 and then the shinies come after which we're really excited about so we'll go ahead and get that opened up so that you guys can see it um and then um we'll just move that down just a tiny bit perfect all right so as you can see um my favorite pokemon right here charizard is there and then the full art pincer that we have probably five million cards of because it's obviously not that rare to get um and then we go over to my favorite our right here is the starmie you like the starmie i thought you were gonna go with the vaporeon i like uh-huh there you go and then gyarados obviously my favorite on this one um right there and then over you know what hun you can actually move that over towards the center now because this is the one we there you go perfect um and now we have the raichu here jolteon pikachu all really cool zapdos we have seven thousand of because that's you, not too rare either um you were actually a talking about my favorite Nice yep there's Mew too. we have a bunch of that card and Mew, we have a bunch of that card we have a bunch bunch of that card okay. Um, those are our full arts. They're really cool. Go ahead. All right. And we have a bunch of Wigglytuff. We have some of the birds. Uh, those I weren't like too rare art. to begin with, but yep, it's an awesome art. We really like it. And then you see some of the other fairies. All right. There's our Sleeping Snorlax. 
as you remember, we have a ton of builds analysis, a ton of Blaine's Last Stand, a ton of Brock's Grad, a ton of Brock's Peter City Gym. And if you turn the page, you'll see a ton of other things we have, like Erica, Giovanni, Jesse yeah. and James, Koga, Lieutenant Surge, and then all of Missy, because they just give them out like candy um, in, this in this set. So we have a ton of those cards. We could make probably 30 sets with all the cards that we have for that. And then here come some of the funner ones, the ones that you kind of get. Now, it ends, I believe it ends either here or here for the set. I think it ends right here, and then it goes into the secret rares. I could be wrong. It could go end right here and then go down to these shinies. Um, but as you can see, we do have the birds here. We've got Giovanni's Exile, Jesse and James, and then it gets down with the shinies, uh, which we are all excited to see. Now, we did start by, like, leaving some of them out that we needed, but after a while, we noticed that, heck, we have a ton of shinies that we still don't have, so it just doesn't make sense to leave so many empty pages, so we started filling in a little bit, um, But and you'll see that as we go. But some of the shinies that you've seen us pull, we're super excited to get these two. But as you can see, there's definitely a missing one right there that we're still trying to get. But it's not the Alolan Vulpix, which is awesome, and we love it. But there's our shiny Frogadier, which is cool. And then obviously my favorites, you can go with that. Um, and now I know um, some of these here, you saw us pull in the last few videos. Um, Surviper in this Poi Pole. Uh, which was really cool, and you saw us get this sub to Wudu too. I like the bow gun. Mm -hmm. And then we got our Magneton. As you can see right here, there's still a bunch missing out of this page. But here's the three that are in here that we could see. And then moving forward, we basically were like, it's crazy. Now, with this, did we do this still? Yep, so here's another set of four. I like this little gibble here, and it's really cool. And routes was fun. Uh, to pull, and then we just started putting all of our full arts together. Um, the Rush Ram's really awesome. Greninja is super awesome. Uh, Nagatito, we actually have a couple of him and a couple of him. Um, we also have Anya's favorites down here, um, as you can see. And then uh, we we'll keep going. Like I said, we have a ton of awesome full art cards, which is really cool. I love the Zorark. Um, the Noivern's really awesome, and we got this one, which we didn't have. I like that. Yeah, and then this Brooklet Hill, which is really sweet that we got in our last video before this one. Um, love that. And then we got our gold cards in our specials. So obviously our Rayquaza, and then we got Tapu Bulo, which is our first gold card pull uh, with you guys, which was awesome, and we were super excited to get it. And then we got these two, and then we got Dub Birds Glass that came out of the Elite Trainer Box, um, which was really cool and we were really excited about. Lunala, the Mulana, and Zogaleo. Oh, those were the ones that we pulled like when we were on YouTube. Yep, we pulled those when we were on YouTube. That is absolutely right. Um, so that's our sets for. You got to see our jungle set. You got to see Unbroken Bonds and this Hidden Fate set. Um, right here. Now we do have um. Other things that we're going to go ahead and open up with you and everything along those lines, or not open up, excuse me, to show you, um, we're really excited about it, but what we're going to do is we're going to shut everything down real quick, get everything back up so you can see our faces as we go along, because we won't be using any more binders, but you'll definitely want to stay tuned because we have a giveaway that we're going to talk about. We have a couple updates for the channel that we want to talk to you about. We're super excited to talk to you about, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, Pokemon family, we are back. We've got everything else that we wanted to get set up for you. We're super excited to show you a lot of the vintage stuff that we have. Uh, thank you so much for the suggestion to do this. I know it's a little different than opening up the packs, but it is a lot of fun because we get we get excited about some of the things we get to bring into the channel. Now, we do have some ideas for the vintage stuff that we have, but to be honest with you, there's some vintage things that we can't even um fathom opening up right now uh we got some of the stuff just to hold on to to invest a little bit so that we could keep doing things for the channel and make a little money for the channel so that we uh because we spend a lot of money on cards and we're not rich so there's a lot of things that we want to do to 
um, invest in and try to keep moving to get more things for the channel and things like that. So some of the stuff you see today, you never have seen before. We actually just got it in in the last week or two just by uh, searching online, trying to find uh, people selling certain things, whether it be Facebook, Craigslist, eBay, and things along those lines. Now, it's very, it's super stressful um, to buy these things because you never quite know what you're going to run into. But so far, uh, we've been really lucky with it, so we get to show you it to you. But like I said in the very beginning, some of the stuff that you get to see today, you've already seen through the mystery boxes. And then some of the other things you're going to be, I hope you're going to be blown away. I am for just having some of these items. Um, so without further ado, we'll get into it. Uh, so the first thing that we want to show, if you remember TCA Gaming, um, we got these with his $5,000 mystery box. So these are our vintage pop series. Um, they had, uh, we have a bunch of the series series of not the actual complete set or anything um but really cool ones now there's only like one like three cards in here and most of the time it's very rare to get like the super awesome vintage card that you want to get but it's very cool to have these sets and uh so we're hanging on to them right now just to we might open them a little bit later in the channel, but we don't know yet. It's not something that we've thought too much on um, with those ones because there's only three cards per pack. Then we also got these right here, um, which are basically like the movie promo cards and things like that. Um, you saw everyone knows what this one is from the yeah. first movie back in 2000 um, with Mew and Mewtwo in it. Um, man, I love this card. Uh, I know you can't see the front of it, but we're, we're going to keep it in this little protector right now um, just because uh, it's one of those ones. It's not worth a ton of money or anything just because there's still a bunch of them out there, but it's so cool to own. Um, I remember going and seeing the movie for the first time when I was a kid, and it was awesome, and I had this card, and I, then I didn't anymore because as kids, you don't think about all this collecting and stuff. Um, Today we're actually looking up the ancient view because I didn't know what it looked like, and it's not that it's, I first thought it was $2,000, and it's like cheap. Yes, so when we looked it up, she saw the movie 2000 and she thought it was worth $2,000, and I had to explain to her, I'm like, no, it's only worth like 7 to $10. That's when the movie was made. Um, but we also have um, some of the other promos. You'll see with the legendary birds. Now, you can't see the card itself, but we got it pulled up so that you can actually see what we got. We actually weren't able to see everything when it came to the mystery box when we first got started, but we have did our little research and found out that we could just pull them up like this, and you could see, and you see got Moltres, We've got Entei, Dragonite, Articuno, here's Zapdos, and then we got both Mewtwo's out of there as well. I think they're different. They might be different, I don't know, because we can't see behind them. Um, and then we got this from the Golden War Turtle, the mystery box that we had through the Golden War Turtle. And it's from the Jungle series. It's the Power Reserve uh, Jungle Theme Deck box, which is really cool. Now, we don't know if we're going to open this or not. We're going to do our research on it and see. Um, I know most of the theme deck box, I mean, you get like 60 cards in there. and think, Oh, it says down here, uh, a coin, 10 damage counters, and a rule book and things like that. But I'm not sure. I believe most of the theme decks, they come with like a pre-selected cards and things like that like the theme decks you get today but um we'll look into it and see if it's something if you think it's worth looking at in the or opening up please just leave a comment let us know um we'd love to hear your thoughts i mean this is why we're doing this one we'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think would be cool to open up and then the one thing that we i i I don't know what is in this. Um, I'm guessing because it comes from Neo uh, Genesis and it shows the baby Pokemon card stuff that this is a baby Pokemon card, but I'm not sure. I've tried to do some research on it. I don't know if there's like one specific type or one card in there or if it came with, um, there's multiple different ones that you can get. We haven't opened it up based just basically because we love keeping things like this in the wrapping, um, especially anything Neo Genesis, Neo Destiny, and things along those lines. Now, <clears throat> some packs that you haven't seen that we actually just picked up, these are back from like 2012, 2013. Um, these are Pokemon... Uh, black and white plasma blast this is a pack that i have never opened if it, when it came around 2012 13 i was already out of pokemon um at that time so i didn't get these sets uh or or look into these so i don't know what cards are in it but i do believe um what we're gonna do 
uh, eventually here is open up some of them as you can see the different pack arts that they have and things like that we're definitely going to open up some for you guys um, and then see definitely um, first before I do that I want to see what are the awesome cards to pull in here what are the ones that everyone wants to get out of these packs and then we'll let you guys know as while we're opening up some of these but I don't think they're super super duper expensive or anything like that I do know that they're you can't just go out and get them um I just don't know how much per pack they are and I didn't really care I thought it was really awesome because we've never opened up these packs um so it was very cool to get that now some of the other stuff that we have some of the really um vintage stuff that I'm really excited to open up with you guys are coming up right now so first off uh, you remember these we got these from the golden war turtle it's our fossil packs which are really cool and they've got the long neck on them as you can see it's the long wrapper and these are our fossil packs they both have zapdos on them which is really awesome really cool and uh we're still thinking about what we want to do with these uh we'll probably if you remember the first uh, box that we got from the golden world turtle who is awesome and we're going to leave a link again for the golden world turtle just because we love his mystery boxes we've gotten two of them and they've been amazing and everybody likes them so go ahead and check out the link um if you're interested in mystery boxes and things like that uh so that you can get uh with him he'll work with you on what you like the price point that you want to be at and you tell him some of your favorite stuff and he'll make sure to get something in those boxes for you but these are some of the things that we got from him um now cards that i picked up um, that you haven't seen, here's an EX Crystal Guardians pack that we've got, which is really awesome, um, and we're really excited to get. And then we also have a base set two. Uh, here's another long foil pack for you that we got online that we found. Now, the ones that we got online, you're going to see, um, we got it actually as a collection. We were really excited to get it, and I couldn't wait for it to get in the mail. Um, it was like Christmas to me. Um, another one here is we've got EX Holland Phantoms. Here's another pack. And look at that Gyarados. Gotta love it. Now, if I remember correctly, the X Holland Phantoms, I think even uh, so most of the EXs, I'm almost positive they had like gold star Pokemon, which are really awesome to get. They're very rare and hard to get, but they're also worth some money. So if I remember correctly, some packs like this had those, which is really cool. Now, all the packs that we got, we were told they were unweighed, so we don't know if they have a hollow in them or not. Um, and then here is an EM EX Emerald uh, that we have. Very cool. And then we've got, here's an EX Ruby and Sapphire. Here is EX Power Keepers. As you can see, these are awesome. I mean, some real vintage Pokemon packs. We were really excited to get them, um, and we're keeping them in their little cases. So we're going to figure out if we're going to open some up. But again, we do want to save some just to as an investment because they are worth money um, per pack. And just so that we have more cards to open per, for this and uh, more giveaways to do and things along those lines. But uh, other things that we got here, here is some Gym Heroes packs. So here's the Misty. We've got Lieutenant Surge, and we've got Brock, which is really cool. And then, now, these, I'm really excited to show you. Um, they're really cool. I, I, I do want to open this really bad because I love the art that comes with these, the reverse hollow art. Um, but this is from the Legendary Collection. Um, so, very excited to show you this one. And as you can see, it's got dub birds on it. Um, but man, it's so cool to hold one of these and have one of these for a collection. Um, I, I do want to get some more of them. Uh, we will see because they are a pretty penny. Um, some other ones we have here. Here's, uh, here's a dragon one with Absol on it. Now, this one actually has a little cut down the line. And the person that we bought it from, they were super honest with us and let us know that this pack had a small cut. Um, but the pack wasn't opened. Uh, you can definitely tell it wasn't tampered with. And it doesn't look like there's any damage. It's just a very um, easy slice on there. So it didn't stop us from wanting to buy it um, to see what's in it. I just love Absol. Oh, yeah. And then we've got another one. I think that's last one. Mm -hmm. And then now... These right here are some of the coolest packs that we have still. And I know I keep saying that, but it, it only gets better. These are so cool. So here is, um, we got Neo Genesis again. Here's a Neo. Um, really cool. And if you know Pokemon Vintage, these are some of the 
um, most expensive packs that you can get um, with Neo Destiny, Neo Genesis, any of them. So it's really cool that we have that one. And then we also have a Legend Maker pack right here with Mew on it, which is very cool. Now, two of them that we have. Here are Expedition Packs. We're super excited to have these um, from the base set Expedition. And they've got our Pokemon on it. Here's a Charizard. And here's a Blastoise, which is very awesome and very cool. I want it. Yeah. I want to open it. I know, right? Um, so uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And then here's some of our first edition packs um, that we have. So here's a Fossil first edition pack. We also have... As you can see, the Gym Challenge first edition pack. And you can see the first edition signs down there. Now, we have a Team Rocket first edition. One of my favorite sets. I like the uh, the dark Pokemon. And here is Team Rocket. We got a first edition there. I would love to own uh, a dark, or excuse me, a Team Rocket booster box. That would be so awesome to have. Next one, um, Daddy really likes. Yeah, uh, but first we're going to keep going through... Okay. Our fossils. Now, this one isn't first edition. It just snuck up on me here. Um, but this one is a first edition. So here's another regular fossil that we have that has the long foil on it. And then here is a first edition fossil that we have. And then here yeah. is a Neo Genesis first edition pack, which is really cool. And we're happy to have. Um, obviously, we're happy to have all of them. Um, but again, getting anything first edition like this from the big Neo sets, that's so Oh, I feel awesome. Now, the last two, uh, probably uh, the rarest that we have. Um, and it's they're very sought after. If you've seen Leon Hart or anybody that collects the vintage stuff. Now, Leon Hart, he gets so lucky. Somehow, it seems like every week, he finds somebody that worked at um, Wizards of the Coast or somebody who found a locker full of things, and he goes out and picks them up. I don't even know where he sees them because I look all the time. Obviously, I don't have $50,000 to throw for Pokemon cards, but um, he, he'll, like, if you see them, you know that these packs, super rare and uh, super awesome. So here is an Aquapolis pack that we have. Um, this is one of them that we own. And then the other one, it's the same art. But the cool thing is, it's actually a blister. So we have the Aquapolis blister here. Um, the reason why this is even more expensive than the pack, other pack that you see is because you can't weigh the blisters. Um, you don't know what is in the blisters. Um, it's truly um, a unique piece because you can't tell if there's a holographic or anything in it. So the blister, really cool that we have. Now, they did say it was unweighed, so I don't know what this other pack is. Um, has in it or anything but it is so awesome that we have these um as you've seen you've probably already seen that is basically some of the collection that we have we didn't get through everything uh with you guys but we wanted to go through some and some of the vintage stuff because that's what we're kind of getting into we love the vintage stuff loot box does a great job with it Leon Hart's doing a great job with it um but we do a lot of collecting of the new stuff too which is amazing but we for ourselves too we love getting those old pulls and getting those vintage cards which is great and why we do the mystery box so much too because we get them but if you've seen uh the very front page of our channel or the thumbnail um on this video you see that we have our own artwork um we're super excited to get that we hope that you like it we're going to show a picture of it right here right now for you so you get a big portion of it you can see anya's in it I'm in it. There's a Squirtle. There's a Charizard. It's super awesome. And a wonderful artist named Becky Williams made that for us. We are definitely going to have her information in the screen right now for you with that artwork. We're also going to put it in the description. Um, she does do this for a living and she's amazing as you can see. Um, she's very good at what she does and the great thing is her price is awesome. I'm not going to say what it is over the phone, over the channel or anything along those lines, but I can tell you it's very affordable for what she does and as amazing it is. So if you can, go ahead and check out that link. Send her a message. She's super awesome. It's very easy to set up. We literally just had to send a picture of ourselves. She asked us what our favorite Pokemon was, what our favorite colors were, and in a week and a half's time, she had that made for us, which, and we love it, and we're going to be doing more with her, but if it's something you're interested in, you just, not even just for your channel, but for yourself, because if I would have known we could do this at the price that we got it at before, and we didn't have a channel, I would have done it a long time ago, so please, 
look into Becky. She's really awesome. Super nice. And she'll do anything she can for you. But we hope you like the art. Um, we love it. Um, and that's super exciting. Now, as you can see in front of you, we do have the Elite Trainer Pikachu box. That's for 200 subscribers. We're almost there. We would love to get there before the end of the year, which is coming up on us. So we really need your help to share the video. Um, keep liking the video, making those comments, keeping it going so that we can get more people to see. There are some different dynamics changing. If you've seen any of Lee and Hart's last videos, he even thinks that there's something going on with the algorithm or something. So we are getting less views like he is. We're not sure what that is, but we need your help to share these videos videos not only do we want to give the elite trainer box away before the end of the year with 200 subscribers but because christmas is just a couple days away we wanted to do another giveaway for you guys i know we did the sword and shield one and we did that a couple weeks ago but we wanted to give you some cards too and since we are showing you a collection we wanted to try to build a collection and give that away too so what we did here is we have this binder here and what it is is it's full of hidden fates cards the binder that we have in front of us actually has a set from the very base set from the one to i believe 68 or 69 so you're going to get the charizard and the blastoise and the gyarados um and the raichus and stuff and i'm sorry you can't see the whole thing right now but it's even got the mewtwo and the onyx and things like that in it and it goes all the way back it doesn't have a ton of shinies or anything like that in it um just because this is just a full base set for this but we do want to give it away to somebody um all you need to do again we don't ask a whole lot we just want you to subscribe if you haven't yet uh like this video and comment on hmm what should we make the comment on this time I mean, we've done your favorite Pokemon. We've done, you know what? Comment what your favorite vintage pack was that we yeah. showed you today. So that's all we need. Just be a subscriber, comment on it, and go ahead and uh, comment what your favorite vintage pack was and uh, like this video. You do those three things and you have a chance to get this Hidden Fates complete base set, which has a ton of full art cards it's great for anyone, whether it's just for yourself or you want to give it away. We would, uh, you, you don't even have to tell us what you want to do. We would love to hear uh, what your plans are for it, but that's completely up to you. We just want to do something nice again before Christmas. Now, I know that it's before Christmas, but we're going to keep this until New Year's Day. New Year's Day is when we're going to go ahead and announce the winner. The reason why we're going to do it a little bit after Christmas is because Christmas is basically three days away. We want to make sure that you guys have a chance to see the video, be able to subscribe, like, um, and leave a comment in the channel so everyone gets a chance at the Hidden Fates. Um, another thing that you're going to get with it is one of the Dub Birds glass pane cards. Because we um, got like three. Because we had three of them because we opened up those Elite Trainer boxes and they came with them. Absolutely. So you're going to get that with the set as well. So, guys, Christmas right around the corner. We do hope... You have a very Merry Christmas. It's going to be a busy week for everybody. We hope you enjoy this video. We hope you can share it if you can, because it would be so awesome if we could do the Elite Trainer Box and the Hidden Fates giveaway on the same day. Um, and that's our goal. So other than that, guys, we again, we hope you loved the video. Uh, thanks so much for being part of our family. Um, we couldn't do this without you, and we wouldn't have the cards that we have without you and having fun with this channel. Um, we've only been at it a couple months, and we it feels like we've been doing it forever, uh, and we have a ton of fun with you guys. So, again, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you so much for your help um, in, in keeping us going and that energy you give, and even the suggestions on some of the things we can do. Other than that, guys, have an amazing rest of your night. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. Bye.